Salam alaikum from Casablanca. Bonsoir. We're going to preview the African Open in Casablanca. Welcome with 300 participants. Likely they are registered. And last year they were dominated by the French. They took six titles, but also some strong teams from Tunisia, from Spain, from Canada. Uh, also a gold medal for the home nation, Morocco. Mehdi El Malki, he's now again among the participants. So let's see what he can do. I think their strongest asset is uh, really in the women's category because uh, there they have Asma Niang and she will fight under 70 kilograms. It will be a tough category because the French also brought Marie-Yves Gailly. So she's one of those talents from France, but the French brought a few very strong women. Among them Madeleine Malonga and Sama Kamara. So uh, they will fight under 78 kilograms. So that is also a category to look forward to. In the men, the French, they are here with uh, approximately 40 fighters. They have Milou Sofian under 60 kilograms. But he's not alone. He's also with uh, Valit uh, Guillard, but also with Vincent Limar and Vincent Manquest. So that could be a very strong category under 60 kilograms. Um, I just incited a few judokas for you, and there are some really good quality fighters here. Among them, Safo Choban from uh, Germany. She might have a chance under uh, 52 or 57. I don't know where she's going to fight now this time, but uh, she's a very strong fighter and getting back, really. Uh, then from the UK, we have uh, Philip Awiti. Uh, we have last week's bronze medalist Max Stewart. We have Jody Myers among those talents. So that could be a surprise victory maybe for Great Britain. Um, then from uh, Greece we have Elizabeth Teltidou. She might have a chance on the 63 kilograms. So, uh, well, she's really coming up in this category. Nora Gyakova with her brother from Kosovo. She might have a chance as well on the 57 kilograms. So, uh, she is really steaming in this strong category of, uh, of in this strong nation of uh, Kosovo. Then the Italians sent well, a few talents, I think, especially in the women's category, they might have a chance for a medal. Some good guys from Portugal, like uh, Alves, Andre Alves, but also Celio Diaz under 90 kg. Then uh, Spain, Laia Talarn is among the 19 athletes, but also uh, Laura Gomez. Then you figure out if Sugoi Oriates is near. No, he is not. So probably he's preparing for the bigger events like in um, Samsung and Tbilisi really soon. But um, there are some good quality fighters. Also from Hungary, uh, Miki Ungvari uh, and his brother Attila. Uh, last week they were present in Santiago and uh, Miki Ungvari won the gold and his brother a silver medal. So, well, they might, buy, uh, they might get another medal here this week. Uh, we didn't speak about Russia yet. 17 athletes, not so strong as last week. Last week they really sent in the troops. But uh, I think that uh, with uh, Dorgova, they might have a chance on the 48 kilogram. And this is really a nice category on the 48 because she might also meet with uh, Latizia Paillet or uh, Leandra Freitas from Portugal. So minus 48 is a nice one. Then uh, most Pan-Americans, of course, they, they stay, they went to, to Uruguay. Uh, so I'm surprised that I see the US here with a number of athletes and one of them is Nick Del Popolo from the USA. So just you do inside those guys and you know much more than I am. So stay inside, be an insider and I'll speak to you next time here from Casablanca and then from another area.